It doesn't look like you can zoom anymore, but zoom another notch and look at this. Snap to grid off. Uh, tip of the week. While I have my iPad up here, I thought I'd show you this because I got asked this question during the week and it's it's a very it's a hidden feature, but it's super duper handy and almost essential if you're recording audio tracks here in GarageBand. And that is how to turn off the snap to grid function. Now, if you've been using GarageBand for a while, you'd realize that you, as you zoom in, your grid gets uh, like more fine, right? So if you zoomed all the way out here and you grab, say, this vocal lead part, as you move it, it snaps like that. So it's snapping to like a bar, basically. So we can move it right back. In fact, I'll let go and I'll hit undo. Just remember to hit undo after I do everything on this. But the more you zoom in, see these little grid markings at the top? They get more and more fine, yeah? And then if you're moving things, look, you can move them a little tiny bit. And that makes life a lot, lot easier if you're doing those little small moves. But what about, say I've got this transient here and see how it's like right there, but it's sort of just before the 12. What if I wanted to move this back or move it forward or do something else? Well, you would have noticed as I did that there, if you watch up the top here, as I zoom in, so by spreading my fingers apart, as I zoom in, once you get to this last zoom point, just, it doesn't look like you can zoom anymore, but zoom another notch and look at this, snap to grid off. That means that if I now grab this, look, it's completely free. It does not align to any of those notches at all, even at this most zoomed in point. So I can line this transient up exactly where I want it to be. Now, this is great. I've used this before. Oh, let's just undo that. I've used this before where you've got like, say, one sort of drum hit or one guitar chord or one vocal part, and it's just out of timing. So I've been mixing, I was mixing someone's track a couple of months ago, and the whole track was great, except this one part, they came came in like about, you know, half a second, not even a quarter of a second early. And it was just that one phrase. So what I could do is I went right in there. I just looked at the transient. I shimmied it on across just a tiny smidge. Sounded perfect. Do you have to then make sure that the transition into the next part's okay? But yeah, it's, it's a great way. If, you, if you're like me and you just hear those things that just grate on you because the timing is slightly off, uh, yeah, zoom on in. It turns off your snap to grid and you'll be good to go. Hopefully that helps folks uh, with any of your zooming and snapping needs. <laughs>